Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to make a little video today on aquarium infiltration since I kind of feel like that's a topic that most people, or should I say at least a lot of people, are kind of confused on, even a lot of long-time hobbyists. Um, there's been a long-standing kind of thing where people have always believed in way over filter, you know, over filtering a tank. Now, you know, at what point are you wasting money? Because I've done every route possibly imaginable in my long time in the hobby. You know, I've had multiple canisters on tanks. You know, I've had uh, large can, just single large canisters. I've had sumps. I've had all kinds of things. And you know, at the end of the day. No matter what you do, you're only building with so much bacteria. You know, every piece of your aquarium builds bacteria. Whether it be this piece of driftwood, the sand, um, your aquarium glass, anything, the fake, you know, the plants you got in there, everything, everything is building bacteria. Your filters only build but so much of that. You know, everybody's, well, we need like 10 times turnover, you need this, you need like four FX6s for your 180 gallon. You know, it's people are just overkill just for the sake of overkilling. Now, I do believe in that extra stuff for redundancy in case something you know messes up. I mean, me myself, unfortunately, I have a, you know several tanks, so I do have extra stuff regardless. But at a certain point, you're losing money both in you know your utility bills as well as you know just overall efficiency because. This tank here, I'm running off of a Marineland uh, C360. It's rated for a 100 gallons, you know, 100 gallon tank. This is a 120 gallon tank. The only stocking in it right now is my Red Spotted Severum. I have a Delhezi Bicher and an Indula Cherry Bicher. Um, none of them are super huge, but I did have originally two. Um, God, I don't know whether to call them Fluval or uh, AquaClear 110s because they changed hands at some point. I had two of those on here. I got tired of them just because they're great filters, but no matter what, you had to splash in water noise, no matter how high I filled the tank without overfilling it. So I, I got rid of them and switched it out for this canister. They're, you know, between going from that, what, I guess they're rated between the two of them at 1,000 gallons per hour to this rated at 360 gallons per hour. There's been insanely no difference at all in my water parameters and how clear the water is and the amount of debris in the water, any of that. Where most people get caught up is the, you know, the turnover rate. The turnover rate is more for mechanical filtration than it will ever be for biological. Biological, no matter how you slice it, is always going to be better done slower. The more time in contact with neutrifying bacteria, the more that it's going to break down your ammonia and your nitrite. Um, the faster you pass over it, the, the less it's going to be effective. The thing you want fast is your mechanical filtration. So if you need more mechanical filtration, don't add another canister. Go the cheaper route. Add a power head with a pre-filter on it. That's going to do exactly what you want. It's going to trap all the small debris without you know, cost you an arm and a leg of spending another few hundred dollars on a canister. I mean, a power head, you know, what, 50 bucks maybe? Um, you know, now, now think about this, everybody. You know, a lot of the top breeding facilities, you're talking about facilities breeding high-end fish, you know, massive amounts of fish. They're using sponge filters. They're not using canisters. They're not using sumps. They're not using any of this, you know, high-end technology. They're using the cheapest method possible, and it's insanely effective. Yeah, so for somebody to think that you need, you know, three and four FX6s, it's ridiculous. You know, I've, I've been in this hobby a long time, and I know at that point, you're wasting money. Like I said, it is nice to have extra, but even on a 180-gallon tank, proper media in it, all that, proper stocking densities, one FX6 would more than handle something like that. Like I said, I've got a, a filter on this tank. We're here for 100 gallons, a 120 gallon tank. I do have pothos in here because I can't have live plants because of, uh, you know, the stuff from there. He likes to eat them. But, you know, everybody take, you know, when you think about filtration, take a step back and think, what do you really need? You know, at a certain point, it's not wait, worth wasting your money. Um, if you'd like, you know, to buy... Uh, you can use that money to buy extra plants, extra fish, 
um, extra decor. You could, you know, even buy a better a better tank for that matter. Filtration in itself, I feel, as hobbyists, we've overcomplicated it. We've made it like the um, We've made it into the car show type of uh, type of thing where everybody's got to one up each other. But like, oh, I've got all this on on this tank. You know, I, I've been there, done that. I mean, stuff like that. It doesn't really get you anywhere at the end of the day. If you don't really need the filtration, if you don't have super high stock and densities, it doesn't really matter. The only time you have an insane amount of filtration, insane amount of biomedia in your filter is going to be, you know, the the best thing is if you have a bare tank. There are hobbies to keep bare tanks, but I mean, a lot of us, we like to have some amount of decor in our tanks to make them look somewhat natural or whatever. So that, you know, like I said, all your, all your, all your stuff in your tank is, is containing bacteria. So, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, if you need more mechanical filtration because you got particulates, look into something like a power head or a little internal canister, something cheaper. Don't go out and buy two or three canister filters and spend, you know, a fortune buying stuff that you don't really need. Dear everybody, I, I just had to make this video because I feel like, you know, filtration is a topic that so many of us kind of get into a competition about, and there's not really a point in being in competition. It's, it's way simpler than most of us ever want to think about. Um... Yeah, everybody, if you all got any ideas or any you know any topics y'all like to hear, or any information y'all want, just uh, you know let it um, put it in the comments. Um, but yeah, um, if you like the video, whatever, subscribe. You know, like. Um, I'll see y'all guys later.